Oh hey there, it's Bob the Drag Queen and welcome to The Pit Stop, the only official recap show for season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race. With me today is the iconic bootleg queen <laughs> herself, Miss Yuha Hamasaki. Well, thank you for having me and thank you so much for supporting local drag. <laughs> It's important to support the little people. You what, five, four? I'm five, three and three quarters. Don't forget those three quarters. <laughs> That's 75 cents. Because I used to lie on my ID and says that I was five, six for many years, and then I realized that boys like it when I'm short. Ooh. Yeah. If you like some tiny tray. <laughs> tray, <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thrilled to be here. Really I look really thrilled. Like, Thank I'm you. A, I'm very happy to be here. Well, I really am, honestly, because this season has been so great. But how are you? I feel very rakatiti ta ta. What do you think of season 12 so far, though? You know, I haven't been watching. You haven't been watching? <laughs> you haven't been watching? <laughs> oh, that was the one. That was it. And we're in the game. Last week we saw Britta send home Rock in a really emotional. I mean, she was crying. She was really like falling apart. I mean, I was too when I was sent home. I mean. Did you really, did you really cry a lot? I cried, I bawled my tears out and I usually don't cry because it's such an emotional journey that when you work your entire life towards it and then to be judged and then to be sent yeah. home at such an early stage, you get emotional. Do you think that Britta being in the bottom is gonna like actually make her do better? Sometimes it can because it can light a fire up your ass, but mm. then it can also destroy you because it got you thinking, oh, am I worthless? You start playing games in your head. Am I good enough? Am I good for this competition? It just starts yeah. playing mind games with you. So it can go either way. Ru walks in and she wants to set up the main challenge. She's the doctor, they're all the patients, and she passes out pills. If you get a pink pill, then you get to do the casting for the main challenge this week. Of course, the fashion girls, mm -hmm. Gigi. Neck on neck, right? And Nikki. How both. does that happen? I know, like coincidence. It was like God saying, you both need to deserve each other and compete against each other. But they have never, I don't think they've been on the same team or worked together at all yet. No, but they've also been like the two fashion queens of the season. Yeah. Would you want to do the casting? No, because that's a lot of pressure for me. Mm -hmm. And also, what if I f up the people? And it's a good way to get enemies. Yeah, I don't want that. Yeah. I just want to mind my own business, do a good job at what I do and stick to myself, and that's it. It's not like you want to do a drag race show where there's no other competitors. It's just Exactly, you, just you, mind your own business. I think you just want a TV show. Yeah. <laughs> where there's no competing. What if I pick the wrong people for the wrong role, and that's Then you might fit out of the competition, and yeah. you'll be good. Yeah, so I don't want that big burden on me. Honestly, if I pick the wrong person, the wrong role, and they don't do well. Then it's on you, right? Sometimes that happens. My bad. I should have been Black China. I should have been just China. Aiden and Widow have characters they don't want to play. So Aiden's like, I don't know who, I don't really know a lot about Mae West. And the girl's like, you don't know Mae West? And she was like, I was like, she didn't say she doesn't know Mae West. She doesn't know a lot about Mae West. Mm -hmm. And then Widow is like, I just didn't want this part. She wanted to be the mom. Why do you think Fashion Girls gave Aiden and um, Widow those parts? Do you think they were like being shady? I think what happens when it comes to the parts like that is when you're giving up parts that you don't want to do, you make the best out of it. Yeah. Right? If you are a queen that can do whatever you think you can do, apply that skill of your character and apply it to that character. In my opinion, the role that was given to Widow was good for her and she did a good job. Aiden, I think they were like, she's not doing that great in these acting challenges. Give her someone who dies. <laughs> so Carson directed this scene, all right? He directed Gay's Anatomy. What did you think of this scene? The one that stood out to me was literally <laughs> Aiden Zane. It was just hilarious. So hilarious. When I looked at Aiden Zane in that with that horrible, horrible wig in that bed. <laughs> Who gave her that wig? Girl, I don't know. Whoever it is was the enemy. <sighs> she just is not doing a great job. She's not, she's not doing a great job. And I think there's a lot of queens struggling in this particular scene, but some of them are using the struggle and somehow making it work for them. And cut to the scene where Britta was spitting on Aiden. Let's just say golden. Uh, let's just say the filter was leaking. Can I, can I just say that? <laughs> Literally yeah. spewing. Showering. Wrinkling. I was like, accent rain. Well, stood out to you. I thought Widow did a really good job. Oh yeah, Widow. I thought she was hilarious. She was very dynamic. She came in as this really complaining woman who has to give birth to a baby, and then she pulled out. Hey girl, I was at the white party, and that's where that bomb came from. Right. I thought she was brilliant. I'm not gonna let everyone just brush over how good of a job Jan did. One of the funniest moments to me was in the slow motion scene, and then Jan just throws her to the ground and just like. 
Or what about the scene where she was looking at the mirror, she just kept screaming, ah! It, ah! Yeah, it was ah! good. I think Aiden struggled in this scene. I think she struggled too, but it was still entertaining to watch. And Nikki struggled. Nikki struggled, and also I would say Heidi struggled too. Really? Yeah, she didn't really give much of a character. They it was had very the, flat. Well, I will give you that. The thing about Nikki Doll is like, they were forcing her so hard to give personality. And when I feel like when they give like pretty queens, like give personality, their thing is like, what I should do is do a really intentionally ugly face. That'll show her personality. Maybe in French, <laughs> she's hilarious. Maybe she is le fou, who she's probably like wild and crazy. Uh -huh. But in, in English, Sometimes that doesn't translate, right? Yeah. Literally. Also, Dahlia Sin made an appearance. Sexy Broccoli is back. Dahlia Sin's back. Is she just hanging out in that broccoli suit? She's making a cameo. She's just back there steaming. <laughs> like, just like, <laughs> Hans, I fucking see. vegetables. Like, it was, honestly, I'm obsessed with the sexy broccoli, broccoli with nipples, and that's a healthy thing for kids. Yeah, teach them a lesson. Greens are good for you. Eat your broccoli. Category is Planet of the Capes. It is capes, capes, capes galore, cape capes cod. Jada Essence Hall, this is fine. It's cool, but I don't want to see the lining behind the cape. You can see the white, you can what? see the seams. Wow, she's coming for details, honey. This is RuPaul's Drag Race Season mama. 12, come on. Season 12 of uh, Drag Come on. A dozen seasons, mama. Yeah. Next we have Retta. This cape is like thin, thin, thin. I agree with the judges. When I'm looking at this look, I am easily drawn to the gown. I'm not drawn to the cape. The but cape looks like an accessory true. to the gown, whereas the gown is the main focus. I wish that it was bigger, it was more dramatic. Yeah. More about the dress itself. You're right. Yeah, but she does look great though. Yeah. I cannot tell if Jackie Cox it's Persian? is Persian. <laughs> <laughs> I knew where you were going with this. <laughs> Jan does this, like, she comes out with a backpack, and then she drops the cape out of nowhere. Okay, let us see this a backpack for a second. Mm hmm Like, actually, she literally let us see it for one second, then for boom, then she's like full on get out sprinting to the edge of the stage. I wish she would walked all the way to the end of the stage and then turn around, bam, boom. cape. GG good. This is a cute look. I like the the, the, the capelet with the um, arms that go through. Like she's walking in the UK. If I saw this at the club. I'd be like. And there's if I see it on Drag Race. At the club, I'd be like, work. Where'd you get this? And on Drag Race, I'm like, work, it's cute. Yeah. The club, we don't expect you to bring your top, 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 top of the game every right, time. Right, because usually you're walking around with like spilled drinks, yeah, and cigarette exactly. butts, urine, feces, needles. What? Where are you performing? <sighs> Local are you bars. in the rambles? Local bars. Of Central Park? Local bars. Feces? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have Lil Mama, Girl. Heidi in closet. This she, is. She should put that back in the closet. Yeah, Michelle had it hit the nail in the head. This is three different looks. This looked like she just found something in the closet. Oh, I have a cape. I have this wig. I have this outfit. Let me just make it work for this runway. Crystal method. That's a cape. Th okay, this is two things. This is a cape wobble. Mm-hmm. Wobble. This is a, a cape. Yeah, and the whole thing is lined. Mm-hmm. We like lines Honey. because. When it's lined, it just takes it to another level where you see differentiations of oh, the yeah. fabric and you can see the, what's underneath and be wowed by it. Because other than that, you don't want to see the seams behind it. Yeah, yeah. Right? Aiden comes out and this Silence of the Lambs reference, which is really cute. I do like this look though. I thought it was very creative. When she came out with the butterfly in her mouth. Yeah, real cute. I was like, cute. wow, creativity right there. Aiden, stop wearing this wig. Mama, this is garbage. Like this wig, you have worn this wig too many times. I actually don't mind it. Maybe it's less for her to pack. Yeah, obviously. Widow Von Du. I like everything but the cape, and the cape is the main thing. I like the hair, that's about it. Finally, Nikki Doll. It looks good. It looks good, but where's the cape? It happened to me again. What? I ended up liking Gigi. <laughs> like, what's, what's wrong with liking Gigi? Because I start the episodes out and I don't want to like her. Why? I don't know because Why? she's young Why? and can do a backflip, and her mom loves her, and, oh, and her mom makes she all has her all costumes? the great things going for her, and I want to hate that. Yeah, I know what you mean. So who is your favorite? Jan. Jan. Because she surprised me. 
Yeah, I just hey. like Gigi. I think she's really doing a good job, and Gigi is really good at makeup because like she has this re like when you see her, she has like a fucking Jay Leno chin out of uh -huh. drag, but somehow in drag she becomes like Uma Thurman. Right, right, like, right. Where where did you do with the rest of your chin? So Rue mixes it all up. Uh, she calls out the top queens first, and the win this week is Sherry Pie. I thought it should have been Widow. Widow, I've been rooting for Widow a lot, and I agree with you. I actually thought it was gonna be Widow because she actually- But that dip cape! That fabric following her around the goddamn Oh, true, place. that, that might have been the point. I really like Widow. I like her too. I really like this queen, yeah. I like her too, especially that lip sync in the premiere, girl. Yes, and also I'm a little jealous. I think Widow is the only queen on Drag Race blacker than me. Okay, so RuPaul asked a question. This is my favorite question. Some fans hate it. This is what I came for. This is why I'm watching Drag Race. Who should go home and why? That's what makes it even better. And why? When she says that, I'm like, bitch, I was there and RuPaul goes, would you go home and why? And I, everyone else is like, I don't want, I was like, Derek. You know, this is the, really the point to really sell yourself and say why you shouldn't, but the other person should. Because it's supposed to make the other person look bad and make you look good. Nikki Doll says I should go home and that would you believe bitch. RuPaul took her advice? RuPaul was like, you know what? You're right. Because the thing is, when you admit that you are the worst out of the group, you're defeated already. You're done. Even if you think you are the worst, you sell yourself to a point and say that I'm not the worst. Bitch, Nikki sent herself home. So the bottom two, it is Heidi, Nikki. What are your first thoughts? Well, I first thought that there's no way that Nikki's surviving this lip sync. Yeah. But then the song came on, it was Kim Petras. Yeah, yeah. So it was pretty and easy. Bibbidi bop song. Yeah, it wasn't that like flip. It wasn't like Nikki uh, can get used to, you know. Once I see that they're lip syncing, I'm already thinking there's no way Nikki, unless RuPaul's like, you'll be lip syncing to Edith Piaf. I'm like, bitch, you're done. Heidi didn't overdo it because she is a dancing queen. She paced. Right. Heidi won the lip sync and she sent Nikki home. Nikki's gone. Do you agree? Yes, I think the right person got sent home. Yes, the lip sync wasn't as great as Heidi's. It was good, but it wasn't as good. And she didn't slay in the challenge, yeah. so I think the right person went home. I agree. It's sad, but yeah. you know, someone's gotta go. I wanna thank the amazing Yuha Masaki for joining us here today. Thank you for being here, girl. Well, thank you for having me. Love you, love you. Love you too. Thanks for watching The Pit Stop, and be sure to tune in next week for episode six of RuPaul's Drag Race season 12. Au revoir. Au revoir. Enchanté. Bye-bye. En deux toi. I want the last word. Je suis la jeune fille. Bye-bye. Merci. Bye-bye. So listen, me and you all went on a date years ago. <laughs> it was a date? It was a date. We went to Surprise Avenue to Q, me. and then you all sat there the entire time, throughout the entire play, because I won tickets from Paige Turner, and then I was like, I'm gonna invite, I invited you all, and the whole time you all was like, why are there puppets? This show is stupid. <laughs> this does not make any sense. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> this this isn't even funny. I don't get it. And I well, and I remember I, going home being like, I that was the. Sh you were like, this, I am never texting that person back. <laughs> now looking forward to ten years later, would you still have asked me out? To to yeah sure yeah yeah okay okay. But I didn't ask you out again. <laughs> okay yeah I know I know that for sure. The bitch ghosted me. Can't get enough of RuPaul's Drag Race? Make sure you subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel for all the hot, sickening tea so you don't miss a thing.